All right, today we're going to use Multimedia Fusion to create a uh, platform. And we're just going to set up a basic platform game um, and make it real simple using um, a pre-built character and just a couple of techniques so that we can um, make a fun little playable platform. So first things first, I need to get a player. And I just went through some standard images that come with Multimedia Fusion 2. And I'm just going to grab this insane programmer character um, to start my, my game. Now he is going to need to have a couple settings changed on him. He can't be a static movement. He needs to be a platform mover. And what this is going to allow me to do is move him left to right and I can jump with the shift key and he can do a bunch of different things. And there's some other options of how fast he can move. And down here there's also something called gravity. And I'm going to make it less gravity because I want him to be able to jump high. And I'm going to give him a little extra strength so he'll, he'll jump nice and far up in the air. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to insert a new object and I'm going to insert a backdrop. And the backdrop is going to be used for my platform. So I'm going to click on it and I have my object here. Now if I double click on it, now I can edit the object and I'm just going to grab a solid black color and I just want to fill it in so that I have a black platform for him to stand on. And I'm just going to make that platform about that wide. Now. Once we get this all set up, he's going to be able to walk back and forth on that platform. And then I'm going to have him jump onto some other platforms. All right, so now that I have this object set up, we need to um, go ahead and set, click on this and set on the uh, fourth the runtime options, the fourth icon over. And it says obstacle type none. So right now it's not an object, it's just a backdrop. So it's a background, but we want it to be an object. So what we're going to say is it can be an obstacle or a platform. Now there's a difference between those two and we're going to see that in a minute. But for the moment we're going to do um, platform. All right, so you would think that if I run my application now, it would work. But no, he actually passes through and falls down um, just right through my platform. And that's because I didn't set up any sort of collision. So we need to go into our event editor. You're going to create a new condition. It's going to be on the insane programmer. And you need to, when he has a collision with a backdrop, which is what we created, then I need to click on his character. And I'm going to tell it that the movement needs to bounce. And once I do this, now when I run my application, my little character will stay there and I can now move him back and forth and he can jump real high. So I've set up the initial part of my platform game. All right. So the next thing we need to do is go back to our, our uh, background here and we're going to go insert new object again and we're going to insert a backdrop. And this time I want to make a backdrop for him to jump onto. So I'm going to make this backdrop right here and I'm going to click it and I'm going to make it about this wide and double click it and we want it to be all one color. There we go. Perfect. And this time I'm going to make the object a uh, platform just like I did last time and I'm going to run it. And now I have my character. I can jump and I can land on my next level. So I've essentially created the initial stages of a platform. Now if I'm underneath this particular one because we called it a platform. When I jump, he goes right through the platform and lands on the next stage. So if I want to fix that, I can close out of my preview and I can go here and I can change it to obstacle. Now pay careful attention to the difference. When I walk underneath my obstacle now and I hit shift, he hits his head. And then this guy falls kind of slowly down. So this means I have to jump over and around the obstacle. I can't go through it. It's, it's an obstacle on all sides of the image. So that'll be good and, and it, you know, it'll be one of the two is going to work best for your um, game depending upon how you do it. That should give you some basic information on how to create a, a background and, and, or a backdrop and turn it into a platform game in Multimedia Fusion 2. So hopefully you can apply this to the games that you're building in class.